Well, we have survived another week heading into our weekend. We're going to start with tomorrow morning 7 a.m. Now, oftentimes this is when we hit our low temperature. In this case, most areas that you're seeing will be the lows. However, there are a couple spots I'll point out where you're actually cooler. Now we've got 22. That's going to be our low in Fargo, 24 Wapton. You see 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, Grand Forks at 20. Well, it's 16 right now with the cloud cover that we have that's going to kind of continue to increase overnight. Those temperatures will actually start to warm up a little bit after midnight. So you're going to hit that temperature of 20 tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. More than likely midnight, that temperature is going to be closer to about 15 or 16, just like it is right now. Grand Forks, Fargo 27. One nice thing here, and I just wanted to add this, we really have no wind out there. So it's nice to see the wind chill, same as the temperature. Devil's Lake, a little cooler with the breeze at 25 degrees. That is when you factor in the wind. Current numbers, as mentioned, Grand Forks are at 15. Thief River Falls, 18. How about Halleck at 9 right now? 21 Detroit Lakes, 25 Fergus. We've got 27 degrees in Fargo. Satellite radar image again clearing this afternoon. We're seeing some clouds start to creep back in the area and that's what's going to happen overnight. That's why Grand Forks you'll see those clouds increase and thicken up overnight. That's why that number moves up just a little bit as we head into the overnight hours. So as we look at our first alert forecast, as we got for you, patchy fog, increasing clouds out there. One thing you'll notice too, these areas that are darker typically indicating we're going to see some fog pick up. And so that's been an issue for a few folks the last couple mornings. I do think it's going to be there. Maybe not as widespread tomorrow morning, but I do think fog will be part of the equation for some, especially those areas out west. Meanwhile, while we're going to see a lot of clouds on Saturday for the region, we're not going to see much in the way. In fact, any precipitation except maybe extreme northern areas. We'll see high temperatures generally in the mid 30s to low 40s tomorrow. A couple of exceptions. Again, we'll see low 50s down to the south. Sisseton getting to 51, 47 in Oaks, but then again, 34 Grand Forks, 33, 3 River Falls, and 41 degrees in Fargo. So pretty wide range of temperatures depending on where you're located. Extended forecast. A little activity, mainly rain mixed with a little snow on Sunday morning. Then it's just going to be a cloudy day till later in the day. Then this area of rain moves in and moves. This is late Sunday into the early morning hours on Monday. That's the best chance of precipitation. It's going to come late in the weekend, but again, we're going to see a lot of cloud cover as far as rainfall potential. Uh, we've got Lake of the Woods uh, that back through Roseau going to have the best chance of seeing the most rainfall half an inch, maybe a little bit more uh, again large portion of the area going to see lighter or lower numbers than that. Fargo could see maybe as much as a half inch, but I think it's going to be a lower number than that. But again, it is going to be all rain and that extends out to Jamestown as far as those areas. It could see a quarter inch, maybe half inch of rainfall. Again, I think that's definitely on the high end. Deer hunting season starting tomorrow, Minnesota. You see those numbers a little bit cooler. But again, we're not looking at snow tracking. Maybe not so great this week because we don't have a lot of snow on the ground. We're not going to see any snow. In fact, it's going to be warmer this weekend. My last chance to mention daylight saving time ending tomorrow night. Again, all the things we like to tell you. Tesla smoke alarms, those carbon monoxide detectors. You get an extra hour of sleep. Seven day up to 11 day forecast shaping up like this. 48 Sunday, 43 Monday. Then we go through some low 40s next week and then back to the upper 40s next weekend. It's a fairly mild looking forecast. Mm -hmm. After we had a little, I don't say a scare, but we had that little cold spell <laughs> with the snow and everything. Now we're kind of right. leveling off. Well, that's Mother Nature saying, I'm here, but then she's giving us a break, right? So we'll there take you go. it. Yeah, Thanks, take Russ. as many breaks we can get mm. with Mother Nature around here. Coming up, research shows an alarming trend for healthcare workers how harassment in the workplace is impacting them and what officials are doing to keep them safe.